Hey guys, it's Sarah with Hearth Home Designs. I had a lot of you reach out to me after I posted the video of the US American flag asking questions on the programming portion. Well, I am more than happy to share that with you. All we need is two free programs, Carbide Create and Inkscape to create that design. Let's take a look at the step-by-step -step how to. Start with finding an outline of the United States as well as a black and white version of the American flag. Black and white images will make your life so much easier when you use the trace feature in Inkscape. One of the features in Inkscape is a tool for tracing an image into a path for your SVG drawing. Open your saved image in Inkscape and use the trace bitmap option. With black and white images, I only adjust the brightness cutoff filter. The higher the threshold setting, the fewer the number of pixels that will be considered white. That means the image itself will become darker. I honestly used to get confused with which image was my trace and which was the original. It took me way longer than I would ever admit to realize that I can just look to the right side of the screen. There you can highlight your path image as well as identify and delete the original. Now that you have your path created, you'll save this as a plain SVG, not an Inkscape SVG. Now you'll take the same steps with your American flag image as you did with the United States outline. As with any project, I always start by adjusting the job setup information, stock size as well as thickness. I use a set of digital calipers to get an accurate material thickness measurement. You'll use the import external file option to open the SVG version of the American flag and the United States outlines that you've created. Be aware that the tracing feature can create two different paths, an internal as well as an external. Meaning, if you take a really close look, you'll see two sets of lines. I like to keep the external version for the outline shape that it gives to the east coast. The stock that I work with is 30 inches wide, so I set the United States outline width to 29 inches. Take note of the height of the United States outline, since we'll be using that to adjust the size of the American flag. Set the height of your flag to just over the height of the US outline. It'll make your life easier when lining everything up. Align the flag so that Maine stays within the top stripe, bottom of Texas stays within the bottom stripe, and the west coast is at the edge of the union. Now that everything is lined up, it's time to ungroup the American flag so that it can be deconstructed. Remember when I mentioned the internal and external tracing? Well, now it's time to delete the external flag outline. The way this flag comes out is with the red stripes at the original stock height and the white stripes are pocketed out. This makes staining the red stripes incredibly easy, regardless of if you stain before or after you cut out the white stripes and the flag itself. Since we're only creating toolpaths on the white stripes, I make life easier by just deleting the stripes that will end up being red. In order to create the stripes in the shape of the United States, we'll be utilizing the Boolean feature that Carbide Create offers. Start with making a copy or several copies of the United States outline. 
You'll only select two pieces at a time, the stripe that you're working on, as well as the United States outline. When in doubt, play with the different Boolean options that are available. If you mess up, there's always the undo button. The subtraction feature will cut out the overlapping pieces. The union option will basically keep the profile of the two overlapping pieces that you've selected, while the intersection option will keep only the parts that overlap. We'll be using the intersection option to create each of our white stripes. You might have a few partial outline bits left over. You can go ahead and delete those now. Make sure you keep your solid outline though. Use the intersection Boolean feature for the union outline. Delete the stars outside of the United States outline since they won't be in your final piece and there's no need to actually carve those out. You really don't have to take the time to delete the internal stars path. I always do though just to eliminate the potential of selecting the wrong size star when setting up my V-carve toolpath. Now it's time to set up the toolpaths. The first one is contouring around the union. Having that outline will make staining the union blue 10 times easier than trying to freehand stain the area. And the slight trench in the wood will help prevent the stain from bleeding over. I use carbide's bit number 102 set at a depth of 0 0.05 inches deep since I want a small, shallow outline. Car by Create offers four toolpath options. Pocket, outside right, inside left, and no offset. Pocket pretty much clears out the internal area of what's selected. We'll be using this later on the stripes. Outside right moves the cutter to the outside of the object. Inside left will move the cutting bit to the inside of the object. And no offset is the equivalent of engraving. Keep these in mind when you're selecting which cutting path you choose. We'll be using the outside right option for the union outline. Next up is setting up the toolpath to engrave the stars. I use carbide's bit number 302. Next is setting up the stripes. Select the stripes only, not the United States outline. I use bit number 201 to pocket out the white stripes at a depth of 0 0.08 inches. The last toolpath is the outline. Still using bit number 201, adjust the max depth to your stock bottom. Remember the functions of the different cutting paths. I actually use the no offset option on the outline to keep as much detail as possible. And don't forget to add your tabs.
And now it's the last little bit of the checklist. I scroll through the different toolpaths, checking to see what it's applied to, adjust the simulation material, and take a look at the final simulation. And you can customize that as much or as little as you may want to. No matter what, if you decide to make this design, I would love to see the finished result. So make sure to tag me, Hearth Home Designs, and Shape Oko in any finished images. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune in next time. Bye guys.